final community. And hello, Josh. Yes, today's video is for Josh, the man behind the channel, the flip side. The channel that keeps us vinyl community followers up to date on uh, recent vinyl releases. He always dive into the record store day, breaks it apart and put up the games that we are going to buy. Or at least it gives a good direction what we could buy or the things that we should buy. Anyway, uh, Josh is a great guy. His knowledge is huge in uh, rock and the American rock. He started to finger in a bit in jazz, which I also like. So his taste is pretty similar to my own. Um, so thank you for keeping me uh, up to date on everything. And I always find something interesting when I'm watching your videos. And <clears throat> he has reached a freaking big milestone, 3000 subscribers. And that is pretty huge for a YouTuber. Yes, check me, I'm below 200. That's <laughs> far, far away from Josh. So, and he wants to celebrate this with uh, showing three albums from three different decades and give us a shout out. And my shout out will go to a pretty new guy called Brian and he's behind the channel Embryo Robot. Embronic Robot. Exactly what his meaning with that. It's something you have to find out when watching Brian. Brian is um, very knowledgeable <coughs> about music and it's kind of interesting to see him s sitting in front of a wall of records. He has a freaking huge collection of stuff and he, he's very comfortable behind the camera so it's really enjoyable to watch. I will leave a link below so you can click on him and follow him up and watch what he's doing. All right, so to the small contest, besides shout outs, is showing three records from three decades. Uh, I will start with the 70s and a record from 77. A uh, English vocalist called Jim Prembroke, uh, mostly known for his part in singing in the Finnish uh, progressive psychedelic rock band Wigwam. Here we have a 50s anniversary uh, record. And this is actually was released in 77, so it's less than 50 years, but they go with that anyway. And uh, this is a really interesting uh, record with a super long uh, title, Corporal Cauliflower's Mental Function. Exactly what that means that you have to find out when you listen to this. Anyway, so uh, I will not spoil the whole thing for you. Anyway. Uh, this Finnish band also include a guest of a Swedish um, guitarist called Koste Apatea, mostly known for playing guitars with uh, Mikael Rickfors, uh, Samla Mamas Bamma, Ramlösa Kvällar and Jukka Tollan, for instance. Many, 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 many more. Many, 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 many more. Many more, okay. Uh, good record, check it up if you are into some old stuff in the 70s. A record from the 80s would be actually this one. I will go with the American punk band, one of the finest by themselves. One of the, you could say, the finest punk bands from the States. Yes or no? Maybe. I really dig this. It's a freaking good debut. Los Angeles and very good. I'm almost sure that you have it in your collection. If you don't get it you need it and it's kind of cool because it's produced by the keyboardist from the doors so they actually doing our doors covers on this one and the last one jump to the 90s and we have this one another american band and uh, alice in chains um, a real a milestone in the grunge rock scene I really enjoy this band when they were famous. I still do because the new singer is pretty good by himself. But this is a classic, a really good EP. And it includes uh, some cool guest artists like Ann Wilson from The Heart is singing on this one. Also uh, the singer from Mud Honey and uh, Chris Cornell. Pretty cool. 
sap. Alice in Chains. Anyway, yes, I hope you enjoy my quick and dirty video for you. Um, I will uh, leave it for now and uh, wish you all the luck with your channel. Keep up the good work. Keep the record spinning. I will continue with painting now. So, Fridans. <laughs>